Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Takiro and welcome back to this display of the cat lady. And he's very silent. Music! Okay, so let's continue. Um, can I use the pictures? Examine. There's a f mostly photos of baby. There are a couple of Paul T Pauline and her ex. He's, f he's missing on each one of them. Hello. I should let you know from the start that looking after a toddler is not an easy task. They're just beginning to crawl, they're very curious, and sometimes they can cry for no apparent reason. And my Alyssa, well, she has a very noisy child. Do you have any previous experience with children? Um. Yes, I used to babysit my neighbor's kids. Excellent. I know we all have to start somewhere, but it helps if you at least know the basics. I'd like to get back to work soon, you see. Just part-time for now. That's why I need someone to stay with her. I'm not going to find it easy to be apart from Melissa, but my career has always been important to me as well. They won't wait for me forever. If I don't do this now, they'll just replace me. Um. That just isn't enough support for working parents. Tell me about it. If I don't get back to work in two weeks' time, they will cut my maternity pay in half. So I haven't really got a choice. It's either this or Alyssa and me will face the life in poverty. I have a great connection with kids. I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. Okay, I don't doubt that. How about... Would you like to hold Alyssa for a minute? We should probably see if she likes you first. I... Yes, definitely. I ought to wash my hands first. Your hands? My hands. I must have touched a million things on my way here. As much as I want to hold her, I just don't think it's safe, you know? Really? What have you been touching? Oh, you know, just ordinary things, this and that. You look pretty clean. I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, <laughs> if you must know, I... Uh... I might have forgot to wash hands after using the toilet. Oh. If that's the case, then... I would very much prefer that you wash your hands. I'll show you to the bathroom. Would you mind answering the door for me? Sure. No problem. It's probably just my friend Kate. Just let her in, please. Is that okay? The bathroom's this way. Follow me. Your turn, Mrs. A. Seriously? Do something. Anything. <laughs> Fine. Make sure you scrub those dirty hands really well. I need a bit of time. Okay. Mm. That's a TV. Uh, I can only examine. Examine. Um. Uh, what did it say? The kitchen looks particularly clean. Most of those photos of Pauline and the kid, there's also some guy on a few of them, but his face seems to be cut out of every single... <laughs> well, she doesn't like him at all. Hello? Hello? Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. My name is Rita Tickle. May I come in, please? Agency? What agency? The Happy Nanny Babysitter's Agency, of course. We bring fun and professionalism into childminding at a discount price. May I come in, please? Wait, just hang on a second. I believe we have an appointment. It was confirmed by post. Didn't you get a letter? Hang on, I said. I'm 
sorry. The position has already been taken. Oh, great. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Thanks for your time. See ya. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> there must have been some kind of mix-up. No, there wasn't a mix-up. You're just too late. Bye. I'd better call the office and find out what happened. <sighs> Maybe I would just try something here. Nope. I had to check the house. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, it gets dark early this side of the building. Uh, use? I don't know enough about computers. I should leave it to Mitzi. Ooh, scissors. Super Moon is living baby right next to a pair of sharp scissors. Well, that was something I needed. Uh, can I use the scissors on the dress? Not from here, but I think I have to. Um, yeah, maybe use the scissors downstairs. So, was it my friend at the door? No, just some door to door salesman. Well, I hope you told him to go to hell. I honestly don't know what these people are thinking. Yeah, me neither. I'm sure it's Kate this time. I'll let her in if you'll excuse me for a minute. Wait! <laughs> I'm still not leaving the restaurant again. I think I forgot to turn the tap off in the bathroom. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry. Would you mind going back to the bathroom and turning it off while I answer the door? God dang it. I think I've got something in my eye. Right. I can't touch my eye. I'll need some help to get it out. You'll be fine. Just go back to the bathroom and use one of my cotton buds. <sighs> Don't be such a baby, Mitzi. I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. Oh. Do you think you're actually going to throw up? Yes, definitely. Oh, yes. Quickly, go back to the bathroom. I don't mean to be rude, but this is a very expensive carpet. Will you come with me? Please, what if I faint? I'm scared. Everything's just spinning around. Can Mrs. Ashworth go with you for a change? It's okay. I'll answer the door and let your friend in, yeah? Well... <laughs> Fine. I'll put Alyssa in her bed for a minute and I'll come with you. That'll teach you to always wash your hands after using the toilet. Good day. If you're that babysitter again, I swear to God. Oh, God dang it. It's you. Again. Hello. Is this flat number eight? My name is Rita Tickle. From the Happy Nanny Agency. May I come in, please? I've told you already. You're too late. You have? I thought I got the wrong door last time. It's the right door. I was looking for a nanny, but I'm not anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You were looking for a nanny. I have 10 years experience and training in child discipline techniques and behavioral psychology. Also, I am known for good personal hygiene, strong work ethics, and I only take one break every five hours just to use the restroom. 
Wow, that sounds really great. But I'd like you to go away now. You don't need a nanny. Nope. I've decided to give my baby up for adoption. <sighs> You're an evil person. <laughs> You'll go to hell for doing that to your baby. <laughs> yeah. I've already been to hell. They don't want me there. <laughs> well, she's right about that. Okay, anything I can do now? I've already looked at the pictures, I examined the computer, I can still not use the laptop. Um, TV examine, window examine, pictures, bookcase, kitchen, do inside, I already have done that. Mm. I have no idea what to do right now. Maybe if I go to the bathroom door and knock on it. To take up on a Mitzi. I can hear the rudder running that must hurry. They could be out in any second now. What? What? But I've already checked everything there is to check. Unless you want me to use some of these things for something. Um. Cut? Nope. I actually have no freaking idea what to do. Wasn't it just supposed to get rid of the nanny thingy? Um, be right back when I find out what to do. <sighs> Is there something outside I have to do maybe? I tried this one. This? These scissors seem sharp enough. Let's create some diversion. I hope this is what Mitzi had in mind. Finally I got somewhere, but wasn't the scissors for... Oh, I got to keep my scissors. Oh, not that again. What happened to the lights? I'm... I'm terrified of the dark. I... Uh... I, I can't move. Oh god, can't breathe. Calm down, it's alright. Probably just that stupid meter. It must have ran out of money again. It's not even that dark. Please, you've got to do something about it. I, th I think I'm going to faint. Fine, just stay in my bedroom. There'll still be plenty of sunlight there at this time of the day. I'll go outside and put some money on the meter. It'll only take a minute. Use the laptop. Right. Let's do it. Was that you, Mrs. Ashworth? What happened? Um, no idea. Maybe it's a blackout. Like in the old days. It's probably just the meter. Let me see. Over. Well, let's get out of here then. I don't get it. The cable's been cut, but 
why would anyone do that? I think we're going to go now. This whole power cut gave me a terrible headache. Is that you, Mitzi? But we haven't finished yet. Have you changed your mind about the job? No, of course not. I'm just scared of darkness. And I still feel sick, you know. Perhaps we can continue some other time. I've had it. I'm getting a new fuse box. Was that you, Jesse? Yeah. How are you doing, Pauline? Well, I we need the power back. Can you do something? Yeah, I can easily fix that. There's an electrical store that's open till late. I'll get some stuff and I'll be back before you know it. Bear in mind it's not just the fuse box, it's the cable this time. I'll get a new cable too, don't worry. But in the meantime, go home, find some candles and chill, yeah? Thanks, Jesse. That's awfully nice of you. Well, it was great seeing you, but we're going to leave now. Hello. Who's that? My name is Rita Tickle. Rita who? What the hell is going on here? Do you know this woman, Mrs. Ashworth? I've never seen her before in all my life. <laughs> okay. Now she'll think we are absolutely crazy. I wouldn't worry too much. You're not exactly the most popular neighbor in the house anyway. Thanks. <laughs> what? You don't actually care what those idiots think, do you? No. Of course not. It's just that Pauline seems all right. I'm not too proud of causing her all this trouble. It'll get fixed soon. Look, Jesse's gone out. We can now get inside flat seven and see what he's been up to. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. We can also cross Pauline off the list. I've searched through her internet history, and needless to say, there's nothing exciting there. Okay. So we have two more to go. Um, but I just want to go to the ground floor first because I want to cut up the dress. Yeah, not the ground floor, the basement floor. And I really have a feeling that's the idiot from upstairs. Um, isn't there really any way to open it? What about... Oh! That actually worked. Oh, that's what it was supposed to do. I thought it was to do the crowbar. <laughs> well, that worked. Uh, it's filled with coal, uh, coal, dirty stuff. So maybe I can uh, use this to make it black. And then if, oops, um, if I hang it back here. I can use the scissor. Okay, so what do we need? Well, basically, we need three things. Uh, red paint is over there. Red paint. We have already blackened it. The drill. I'll need some. And a mask. We need some kind of mask. So I'm not supposed to cut. Oh, I just need the wrong place to do it. We need to make some adjustments. Now this is a dress worthy of the cat widow. <laughs> Why don't you admit it was too small for you? <laughs> ha ha bloody ha. Why don't you just shut up? Whoever wore this dress probably hadn't eaten in years. You'd struggle to get a skeleton into it. Okay, so I don't have the scissors anymore, so I'm done with that. How do I open this? Uh, I have nothing there. So, but let's go to flat seven and uh, see what's inside of his room. And for power outlet, it's kind of um, light in here, I think.
Much better. Uh, open. Oh, of course he locked the door. Good thing. Uh, Mitzi, would you please lock the pig? Now that he's gone, we can get inside? Yes, let's do that. I'll close my eyes and you pick that lock, Mitzi. Okay, but no peeking. I'd never. You've really hurt my feelings now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now close them. And we in. There. Job done. Jesus. Are these... Relax, Mrs. A. They're just Halloween masks. Oh, good. That's good. Because I swear, if I see another bloody head... Anyways... Um... Uh, I'd take the hockey mask, please. For my custom plant, nothing. Plant, nothing. Nothing. Uh, switch on. Uh, so is this out of power? Maybe use the power cord. Nope. Seven. This is PC. Is that the famous source of noise? Uh, switch on. That one word. It seems someone's cut the power off. Socket. Uh, not that. Socket. Use. How is this going to work? So, who's got windows over this side of the building? Well, Joe Davis lives right below. I guess we could also check one flat below Joe's. I just hope the cable's long enough. Let's find out, shall we? Okay, so I can't do anything here for a moment, so I have to go down a flat or two. Let's go down the flat first. Um, alright, he's nuts. Someone I can talk to, uh, that's the one with the pesting luck. Oh, maybe, wasn't that the hole in the... Where the hell am I? Alright, that's the one I can't get in, but uh, there was the hole in the ceiling. And I have a feeling that I can use the broom for something here. Uh, open, I know there's no one home. I use the room. I'll try to catch that thing for you, all right? Well, that worked. It's a statue of a cat. How nice. So there's another wacko obsessed with cats in this house. Lovely. Thanks. So, statue examine smack uh, shake break. Break. There was a key. I see I caught this statue only so you could smash it to pieces. Thanks. You're welcome. I don't remember asking you to catch anything. Okay. So, that must be the key for the flat upstairs. So, let's go to flat number three. Um, use. Do you want to go in first? Come on in. The place seems empty. Ah, <sighs> goody goody. So... Watch out, Mrs. A. There's a massive hole in the floor. Just step around it. I'm not blind. Besides, I know it's there. We saw it from the floor below. And we did. Let's have a look around. There's got to be a computer here somewhere. 
I really don't like this place. Yeah. It's rather creepy. This whole game is creepy. Anyways, let's um I should be able to get some power uh, from Bingo. We found what we were looking for. This laptop could be it, you know. Maybe Joe is our guy after all. No, no, no. It's a disaster. The power lead is missing. It won't switch on. Right. What a shame. Can we go now, please? I think I've seen enough. I don't need any more trouble. No, it's okay. I've got an idea. It seems it's a similar model to mine. I'll just go back to the flat and bring my power lead. I don't know. You sure this is gonna work? I think so. At least we'll give it a shot. Just stay here and I'll be back in a second. Uh... Just, just hurry up. hurry up. Yep. I'll just grab the power lead and run right back. It's just across the hall. I'll be back before you know it. I'm an idiot. But fine, I'll wait here. While I'm gone, think of a vegetable. What? Why? To keep yourself busy. I bet I can guess which vegetable you were thinking of when I come back. So you're a mind reader now? No. This is just a little experiment of mine. Okay, whatever. Do <laughs> go. We haven't got all day. <laughs> you could have gone and been back in the time that you used Why to talk. Why do always end up in places like this? Yeah, that's a good question. And now it's fumbling. But anyways, um, we will find out more about this place next time because... I will stop this video here, so I hope you enjoyed it. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos. And I hope you all will have an awesome day. So until next time, farewell.